Hello and welcome everyone today to this today's CIF Southern Section High School football game for the first game of the season here at Salter Stadium, as well as the first Friday night live stream here on Apache News. In tonight's matchup, the Arcadia Apaches are playing host to the Wildcats from Bray Olinda High School. My name is Aaron Serrano, and this is my partner for tonight's game, Sonny McCall. So Sonny, how are you looking forward to today's game? First of all, I'd like to say that I'm excited to be working with you, Mr. Serrano, to call tonight's game. But looking more on the football on tap here today, I'm hoping to see the Apaches put their best foot forward and aim for a win against Bray Olinda. Looking back at the last year, these two teams shared similar stats throughout the year. Arcadia with a record of 2-8, and eight, while Bray Olinda finished with a 3-7 and seven record. Speaking of records, how are Apaches doing this year? Well, look, before looking at this year, Sonny, let's take a look back at last year. Last year, Arcadia went 1-4 and four in league play and ended up in a tough sixth place throughout the season. But now looking at this year, the Arcadia Apaches are coming into this evening with back-to-back -back losses against non-league opponents. In, the, in both of those losses, the Apaches played close runner-up, losing to Rim of the World and San Marino, both in a two-score deficit. Now looking back at the visiting team, Brea Olinda, they finished last year with a record of 3-7, and seven, finishing fourth in their league. This year, however, they're starting the season off strong with a two-game win streak rolling through their opponents with an a averaging a staggering 38 points per game. Arcadia's defense is going to have a whole lot to handle tonight. While the Wildcats' offense has been rolling this season, Arcadia's has come in with a couple of questions on their offense. Over the summer, Arcadia lost their biggest threat. Wide receiver Derek Ganter Jr. receiving a college grant to go to Eastern Washington accounted for 1,095 yards throughout the year, and he also accounted for 13 of the Apache's 16 touchdowns. It's going to be easy to say that the, Arcadia's have a, the Arcadia Apaches have a big hole they will have to fill. It looks like opening kickoff is about to get underway. Thank you all for tuning in to today's live stream here on Apache News. This live stream is presented to you by our Apache Sports crew. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. I'm Aaron. And I'm Sunny. Let's get this game started. Currently, right now, coin flip going on, seeing who will start off with the first possession of the game. You know, Sonny, whenever you possibly win the coin toss, you would most likely defer because having the advantage of going first in the second half is a pretty big thing, can set a tone in the second half, but that might be a while. Let's see who gets the ball first. So Breo Linda has just completely thrown out what we just said, what I just said, and has picked to uh, receive the ball first today instead of kicking it off to Arcadia.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we kick off, okay, before we kick off tonight, ladies and gentlemen, before we kick off tonight, we have a special recognition happening. Okay, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Tom Hernandez, to please uh, go out the field with our athletic director. This past year, one of our assistant coaches, Mr. Thomas Hernandez, passed away. We felt a number of the staff at Arcadia High School. Arcadia opening up tonight with their standard red and gold, with Braille Linda starting off with their white and gold. Let's have a good look at today's game. In remembrance for him, we're going to give a moment of silence for all the work that he's done here at Arcadia High School and for all the people who have touched over the years. So, everybody, please, we're having a moment of silence. Thank you. 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 See right here, it's a little bit of a, or a moment of silence for Thomas Hernandez, who has passed away. Nice moment to see on the field here before the game gets started. Kick looks pretty good. Going to be caught around the 25-yard line on Bre on Arcadia Abrea's side. Not going to get past the 30-yard. So decent start, Sonny, for Brea. Just getting off some positioning. Getting close to the middle of the field is definitely a good thing to have starting off in the game. Um, but let's see how the Apaches uh, handle this. First down. Linda looking like they're going to pass right here. Fakes out the, the handle off to the running back, and that's going to be a nice, nice completion right there, getting to the 40-yard line. Addison Altermack with the catch there. First down, 10 yards for a first, not a nice first play of the game, Sonny, for Bray Olinda. Absolutely, but there's still a chance here. Holding strong. Katie is going to need some tougher defense tonight. Pull it off. Got four wide receivers here now. Running back behind the quarterback. Fakes the handoff again. Blitz coming in. Going to get a nice short hop. And nobody is there to guard him. Jumps over one man. Gets almost to the 35 yard line. Number four for Breo Linda. Putting in nice work right there. Nathan Asives. First and 10 for Brea Linda on the 36 yard line. Arcadia's defense not looking good so far. Trying to make a stop here, not going to get one. That's going to be a big chunk of yards.
About an eight yard gain, second down. Correction, seven yard gain. Ball Wildcats, second down. It's gonna be a tough one for Arcadia to stop here. Getting close to field goal positioning right there. Thought they might have passed it to running back. That guy's going to get passed. Let's see who that is. Rene Gonzalez right there getting into the 25-yard line. So that's going to be 1 and 10. Or first and 10, I mean. Here comes the pass going deep right here towards the end zone. That's going to be too play. high. But it looks like, you know, Sonny, I think I might have saw some holding right there. You know, a little tug of the jersey. And you know how much that could completely define how far someone can get. We'll Absolutely, see. Aaron. It may result in a penalty here. Maybe pass incomplete. That's defensive holding. Holding against the Apaches. So that's going to penalize them right there, giving Abrea Alinda. Now slipping up right here. 1 and 10 on the 24 yard line. Or 14 yard line. First play is already not looking too good for the Apaches. Good play right there by Brayo Linda. Down to the seven yard line. And we're on the second and three for Brayo Linda. Brayo Linda now in scoring position right here. Threatening the Apaches on their seven yard line. Let's see if Arcadia can come up with a stop. They're going to have a big one here. That pass getting close to the end zone, and that one's going to be. That is going to be a touchdown for Bray Olinda, starting off hot. Bray Olinda gets six points on the board quick. Rough start for our Apaches. Allen are going for an extra point attempt here. Let's see if they make it. Penalty. Okay. Offsides on the defense for Acadia. That's going to move Arcadia down to the one yard line with Barrow Linda having a two point conversion opportunity here. So looks like they're still going to go on the two point or on the one point can the one point the PAT. I'm so sorry, oh, slipping up here. I'm so sorry about that. Let's see if it's good, and they miss six points for Brea Linda. Nice block right there by Arcadia. You know, that might have been the best defense we've seen so far. Katie's defense not looking good on the offensive field, but right there on the PAT, getting the block. So that missed extra point attempt might come in big later. Uh, you know, last year, Sonny, I saw I was here announcing a game where Katie lost against Crescenta Valley by one point. So all the points matter here. See if Arcadia's offense will be able to uh, get um, some points back right here. 
Even an open mind here. Let's see this. Barreling it up with a kickoff. Her off. Catch right there, trying to go from the side. Not going to get far. Going to get right around the 20-yard line. So that was a pretty good kick right there from Bray Olinda. Going to be spotted at the... Let's see. 20-yard line. The ball's on the 20-yard line. 22-yard line. So first uh, offensive drive here at Salter Stadium for the Apaches this season. See if they can make it a good one. Going right up the neck of the defense and not going to get much there. It's going to be a uh, second and long. Second down on the 20 yard, uh, 29 yard line. Here they're trying to find a pass here. Keon Mills running pass, loses the football, or is that a flag? My bad. It looked like, uh, from my perspective, Sonny, that the football just flied out of his arm, but it was a flag. We'll see who it is on. Might be a gift to the Apaches, might be a gift to Braille Linda. We'll see here. Keon Mills trying to run around. Let's see if we see any penalties. See, football got out right there. So I wasn't seeing things, but Arcadia was able to get back on the ball. The ball was recovered by number three, Keon Chapman. So, so. Personal foul, Arcadia. Unfortunate. Penalty was declined, so Arcadia is going to stay at the yard that they lost. They're going to stay on the 14-yard line, unfortunately. Already going back. It's going to be a really long one. Going to need a long pass here. Keon Mills going to have to put some arm work in this one. Gets a snap. Quick fire off. And not going to get much there. Defense from Bray Olinda. You know, they're playing like Wildcats so far. On the offense and defense. Definitely very aggressive. See, so trying to find something. Just found... Uh, one of the guys in white and gold. Get unfortunate for our offense. Looking here to just kick it back and hopefully hold back Ray Linda. See how this goes. Arcadia here forced to kick it away. It's going to be a tough positioning to start off the ball. Let's see, this is a pretty good kick. Going to bounce around, getting nice bounce for the Apaches, getting close to the 40-yard line. I was about to say it's going to be a tough one for the defense to start out, but amazing kick right there. Goes the back where the Barrel Linda started in the first round. Let's see how the Arcadia is holding now. Snap back, running it back with Bray Olinda, and it's tackled down on the fifth on the 45 yard line. Or 44 yard line, my apologies. 
Second down. Correction, 43-yard line. My apologies. Ball on the 43-yard line, 2-8. and eight. Let's See how the Wildcats do here. Looked like they were going to hand off. Going deep. They got a man open right there. And that's Pass is nice complete. Catch. Nice catch right there. Flag comes out, though. Could it be the third flag for the Apaches? Or, I mean, fourth flag against the Apaches. We saw two on that initial drive. One personal foul on the, the second on the offensive drive, and now right here another one. Sideline warning for the Apaches. As it stands now, interesting. It's everything not going the Apaches' way so far. Halfway through this first quarter. Little messed up snap right there, and that's going to be a nice sack right there. I, good play by the Arcadia defense, sacking the quarterback and keeping them where they are. Hopefully, they can keep up this kind of pressure. The Wildcats lost two yards on that play, ending up now on the 31 yard line. So, good start for the Apaches. See if they can keep it up right here. Second and 12. Running back going through the middle, and he's going to be stopped right there. Got a one, might maybe one more yard after initial contact. Short gain for the Wildcats. It's going to be a third and long. Or, yeah, third and long coming up. Arcadia calls a timeout, third and seven. So that running play gained five yards. I don't know, it seemed like it was a little short of that, but Arcadia calls a timeout, gonna talk this one over. Third and seven, Bray Olinda. Looking like they're going to pass here. Four wide receivers out. Running back still staying right next to the quarterback. We got motion. They are going to pass it. The motion was for a pass. See, and that's going to be, a, they're going to get him right here. That was a nice play for the Wildcats. Having motion in the back. We'll see if we can get that one on a replay. There's a flag though on the 30 on the 31 yard line. Looks like that was a false start for Brayo Alinda. That's going to the 48 yard line. That's going to be a big one cuz Arcadia let let it go right there and that that flag came in like a blessing. Going to prevent Brayolinda from advancing there. Now it's a 3 and 12 how it started. Brayolinda might go back to the same play. It would be interesting. Running back on a different side though. No motion. Quarterback looking, nice pressure right there. Ball, they jump on it just in case they're saying that's not a throw pass ball. 
Nice play right there by Arcadia getting the stop. Number 44, Jonathan Long with a sack on the quarterback. Looking good for Arcadia. This is one of the best defensive plays we've had so far. Hoping we can keep this up for the rest of the night. Here's the kick right here. Whoa, trying to make an interception. Katie's going to take over on downs. They felt like, you know what, let's not kick it. Could have had Arcadia start at some, some tough positioning, but didn't feel confident about that one. See, just going deep, and Arcadia very close to getting that, that catch right there and an interception at the end zone. Would have started them off at the 25, but... You know, better to have them start where they're going to start right now. One and ten at the 31 yard line. The positioning for the Apaches compared to their first play this this game. Quick whistles right there. No, no gain right there. Oh, ball advances, actually. Oh, wait, never mind. It went back to the 27 yard line, so 2 and 14. You know, directions are a little bit hard, Sonny. Understanding those directions, it's a, a tough thing to do. So second and 14, ball at the 27 yard line. It's gonna be a pass right here, going out to the sidelines, Mikel Reed with the catch, dancing out. Looked like he stepped out before the play. Pass complete by Mikel Reed on the 36 yard line, or on the 34 yard line. Yard advancement for the Apaches. I need another one of those plays right here if they want to keep this drive going. Three, third and seven. Motion going on and going to be a pass out. That looks like it might get the yardage. That one's going to get it. First down for the Apaches coming up. Apaches definitely had a rough start to this game, but it looks like they're bringing it back with that play. Already back on the first down on the 42-yard line. Here's the play, running around, trying to get something. He's going to get a lot of it. Keon Chapman, the running back, getting enough for a first down. A 13-yard game for our Apaches. Looks like they're really kicking it up now. Pressure's on Brayo Linda. Right there, nice running back play. Made contact with the first three, four people. And then after a long, what must have seemed like a long time, got tackled down. Big advancement, Arcadia needs to keep that one up. Here yeah, running it is again, trying to find the same magic. Not gonna get, not gonna get it there. That ball is gonna be spotted at the 46 yard line, so that's gonna be a one yard gain. Like the Apaches are starting to roll now. It's 
looking good. Second and nine, hoping that Sunny doesn't jinx it here. Pass going to the side, going to get a few yards. Not going to be enough for the first down. Might get halfway through. Alexander, Alexander and Chetta. Ball at the 38-yard line. Currently, as it's spotted. Third and three. It's going to be some short yardage. Arcadia needs to get it here. See right here, thrown out to the side. Makes contact with one guy and ends up tripping after the tackle. On the play, let's see what we have here. Well, Bray Olinda's team is backing up. Looks like it's going to be a offsides for Bray Olinda. That's going to be a big flag right here. Everything seems to be coming up good for the Apaches. First and ten coming up. Let's mention again, Sonny. It's Bray Olinda was not able to get that extra point attempt after the initial touchdown, leaving them at six points. So Arcadia, if they score a touchdown and get the PAT, it's going to be an advantage for Arcadia. I'm looking forward to this hopeful play here. Low snap right there. Hands it off to the running back. Going to gain some yards. Chapman gets the 31-yard line. Two yards gained on that one. Second and eight coming up. Katie is pushing through inch by inch. It's definitely starting to become a close game. I'm feeling excited. Where are you, Aaron? You know, it's a, it's a better drive than, you know, la looking back at last year, there's a, a lot of tough times, but right now, you know, really interesting plays being shown here. See if they're able to keep it up. Keon Mills passing it to the side. Going to get close to that marker right there. Not going to get it. Going to be a few yards short. We'll see how big of a third down the Apaches are going to have. You see right here, sideline throw. Gets pushed out. Or did he, he actually did not catch the ball. Looking close to that replay. He can please pass. No, that's, going to make it, that's going to make it a tough one, Sonny. Third and eight. Going to need a, maybe we get another flag here. Bray Linda hoping they're not offsides on this one. Katie has four wide receivers out. Coaches telling Keon Mills what the play is going to be, and then we got some whistles here. See what it is. Wow, I said we might see a flag, and flag came for the Apaches. Unfortunate. That's going to push them back some some very big yards. It's going to be a. Down so close yet so far. Third and 13 now. It's going to be a tough one. You might have two more yards or two more, another down to work with after this one if you get it close enough. See Keon Mills looking for a pass. He's going to get it right there. That's going to be a good start. Not going to be enough, but let's see if they stay, the offense stays out for the fourth down. Fourth and four, Sonny. They're probably going to let the clock run out toward to the end of the first quarter, and we're going to see our first big break of this game. And Katie Arcadia currently fourth and four, ball on the 32-yard line. It's going to be a big uh, play coming up after this quarter, this quarter break. And that's it with Barrow Linda leading six and Arcadia with zero. Very unfortunate to see that happen. The Arcadians were doing so well, but again, that first down was so close yet so far. Arcadia gets the free timeout here. So now I just need to talk over how their offense is going to work on this fourth and four. See fans right there, all wearing black. You know, 
sunny. It was a blackout night here, and uh, in the intro, I didn't see you wearing black. It looks like you're wearing a quarter, a APN quarter zip. I don't know if you ever got the memo. You're Just wear black today. You're right. I'm feeling a little out of place here. But I mean, it's good to be showing off some school spirit and showing off some support for our Apaches. Definitely matching the theme of tonight, and it's just good to have that school spirit going on in the crowd. And four field is flipped. Oh, that's going to be a tripping on Braille. Linda Arcadia gets the blessing. Going to be a first down. Let's see if I'm not wrong. And this should be on Braille, Linda. We will see. Pass interference by Bray Olinda. First down, Apaches. He on the 13-yard line. It's getting real close right here. Only 13 yards to go. You're in scoring position. Arcadia, and they have extra downs if they're able to get to the third three-yard line. That's not going to be a good start right there. They called the whistles dead. So, none of that initial ball called dead at the 15 yard line. So, that's going to be a two yard loss for the Apaches. Second and 12. The direction the patches want to be going in, but they can definitely correct that here with this next play. Watch out with a bunch of wide receivers. There's a lot of whistles blown, flags come out. We'll see who this is on. If it's on Arcadia, it's going to be a tough one to take. Five yard penalty against the Apaches. That's going to make this a 17 yard. Uh, the Apaches are going to start off on the 17 yard line. You have three downs to work with here to get 17 yards. It's going to be a tough one. An incomplete pass is going to bring us to a third down in the same exact spot. Olinda definitely a formidable opponent here, but our Apaches are putting up a pretty good fight so far. They're going to need to fight a little bit harder, though, right now. Face with a third and 17. Three wide receivers out. Running back on the side of the quarterback. Might have a tight end on the side. They throw. It's going to be... Might not even get any yards, actually. Dodges one tackle. Keon Chapman's going to get an advancement here. And that was not close, it seems. Arcadia ended up staying at the exact same spot. Oh, actually, they're saying that Arcadia got eight yards on that play. I don't know compared to where they were, but... Fourth and nine now in the 14, making it a little bit better. Apaches are going for the field goal, not going to risk it with a fourth and nine. Arcadia gets an illegal substitution on him. 
going to back up the field goal attempt. They are going for a field goal attempt here, and if they can make it, drops down the lead to th only three points. Katie could definitely bring it back from that. That kick's going to be blocked, so Arcadia's not going to get it. They're trying to advance it, but not going to be good. So we've seen both kicks here today have been blocked. One on Brayolinda's sides, one on Arcadia. But they're both on that right side of the field. Maybe that side of the field curse for kickers, but not looking good for them tonight. You know, Sonny, I think there might be a reason why the kicker's having a tough time right now. We saw some crazy weather earlier today. Yeah, before the game started. Speaking of which, yeah, right before the game had started, while we were setting up, there was a rainstorm. The field is definitely a bit wet now, but looking back at the play right here, we're seeing Bray Olinda running the ball, running over, and we're getting far, and right at the 37-yard line. First down for the Wildcats already. Definitely a strong play by Bray Olinda. Going for the running play again here. They're going to get first down yardage. Arcadia just has so far in this drive no defense against that running play. Two straight first down plays. Spotted on the 49 yard line, so Braylon is now on Arcadia's our way. They're on, still on their side of the field. Got one more yard to go. Gets a flag right there. We've seen a lot of those today. A lot of yellow laundry has been thrown on this field already today in this game, Sonny. It seems like every other play we're seeing a flag. Well, shows dedication both on both sides, both putting up a fierce fight to try to get in the lead. Well, that flag goes against Briolinda pushing him back to the 44-yard line, so a five-yard loss. Flags are acting as both a blessing and a curse for both sides. Let's see how Brayolinda handles it now. Motion on Brayolinda's side. They're going to pass it. Pressure coming in, and they're going to get the sack right there. Staggering. Sack by Arcadia here, pushing them all the way back to the 37 yard line. Big sack right there by number 44. That's really going to help Arcadia. Handing it off to the running back again. That's going to negate all the work the defense put in right there. Getting close to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10 coming up. 16 yard gain right there. It calls the timeout right here. Sorry, Sonny. Good. Already using two of their three touch or timeouts so far. Katie is definitely plotting now. It's going to be a long down right here. You know, Sonny. So far, Katie's defense has been looking some looking rough at some times and looking good at others, but. So far, not much to show for it as Brayolinda has scored six and Arcadia has scored nothing. Well, Aaron, I definitely have to say that I kind of like the variety in this game so far. We've definitely had a lot of different plays, a lot of advantages, disadvantages, a lot of different plays too um, by both sides. And so far, it seems like it's being a good game other than that unfortunate start for Arcadia. But it seems that they seem to be playing a pretty even game.
Third and 10 on the 49 yard line. That is the initial line of scrimmage, so no advancement here. Going to pass it. He's going to get the first down here and one more. Right there, you see the pass was made. That's going to be a first down, so Arcadia was not able to hold the Wildcats still in that third and ten. They have spoke too soon on that one. First and ten here for the Wildcats. They're running it off. Going to be met with three guys right there. Let's see how much advancement they get there. Second and eight right there on the 25-yard line. A 33-yard line. Right there, fakes the pass off. Defense got confused, and right there, that is going to be a big advancement. Going to get the first down for Bray Olinda. A penalty on Blair Linda. Push back to the 38 yard line. Second down. Back 13 yards. Right there, pass coming off. That's going to gain a few yards. See where they spot that one. Linda down on the 30, 33-yard line, 3 and 11. Right there, handing off to the running back. Quarterback was taken down, even though he doesn't have the ball. Running back's going to get a lot of yards right there. Arcadia's defense just has not had any answers for the run this game today. First and 10 Wildcats. Let's see where the ball is spotted. See right there, Arcadia's defense just cannot make tackles on number four. Number four is Nathan Aceves. Two substitutions for Arcadia. on the 20 yard line, first down. A little bit of a problem going on here in the stadium, but scoreboard, we can tell it by voice, so. Yeah, our scoreboard is now, the time left was supposed to be 6.47. Having a bit of technical difficulties here, our scoreboard has gone out. Might just see a little bit of a break right here as we wait for technical problems to get resolved. You know, the scoreboard with the time and the placement is a big help for the officials. Keep this game clean, clean and even. As I was saying, Aaron, this is definitely an interesting game. As again, the variety in so far, the Arcadies are definitely putting up a fight. 
But that running play by number four, definitely, definitely putting a dent in our defense. But Arcadia is still keeping up and is still an interesting game. I need the clock out here right now, and you know, you know, maybe it might be useful if uh, the, the referees just started having like little stopwatches to keep in their pocket, just to keep adding down or subtracting the time that a play goes on for. Absolutely. Seems like an interesting problem to have, though, in the middle of a game, though. The refs are trying to find some way to work through this technical issue. See right there, bottom bottom part of the board not working, but top part working right there. See if anybody knows that. Which former Arcadian is an Olympic medalist? You know, anybody in the viewer, any viewers can answer that one. You might get a little brownie points for answering that let's see who what the answer is it is Mariah Ga Nagasu so if you guess if you guess B congratulations now let's get back into the football here Braille Linda going for the pass right there close interception no one's gonna catch that one we're gonna see a replay right there that was close Sonny Watching back on this replay right now. It was a definitely long play. A definitely Hail Mary by Bray Olinda here, but it was so close. But our Apache defenders coming in clutch here, blocking the pass, preventing Bray Olinda from taking another score. And we're back. Bray Olinda fakes off the, the handoff, passes it out. And incomplete pass, so back-to-back -back incomplete passes. Brailenda is at third and ten. Apaches are holding up against strong against these passing plays, but let's hope that Brailenda doesn't start with those running plays again. See right now, Katie or Brailenda has four wide receivers out. Four receivers. Running back by his side. They're going to pass it going deep. They're going to miss the, ink, the pass right there. That's going to bring up fourth down right there. If we can get a replay, it looked like it might have flicked off the hand. See right there. Had his hands out, but just wasn't able to haul it in with his gloves. You know, Sonny, might have to throw those gloves out. No more stick in them. Get some new ones. Gotta have a tough grip on gotta have a tough grip on it, but we got butterfingers here on Braille Linda. Of course, Dan right here going deep and they're gonna an incomplete pass. So Arcadia was gonna take off, take take the ball, turnover on down. So great, great stand right there by Arcadia. You know, maybe that scoreboard mishap, which is still going on, but we're working through it now. Maybe that scoreboard mishap helped Arcadia, giving them some time to think over their plays and 
really showing off right now. Completely agree with you, Aaron, and let's see if Arcadia is able to make something out of it. Lag on the play. Let's see. You know, Sonny, I think I might say that the most interesting football has came from uh, when the scoreboard is out. So I definitely agree with place. you on that one, Aaron. <laughs> you know, even with the scoreboard out, we're here to guide you guys watching at home. And thank you all for tuning into today's stream. Arcadia with the ball moved back a little bit after that flag. You're hearing overrated chants in the crowd, but you know, you never want to see those backfire. Let's see what Arcadia does, handing it off to running back. They're going to get some big yards right there, going down 40 at the 50. He's putting on the boosters, 30 yard line, 20 yard line, 10 yard line. That is a touchdown taken to the house. It's down Arcadia! Take Take it to the house. Touchdown, Arcadia. Amazing play right there by number three, Keon Chapman, putting on the boosters, showing, having a show right there. See replay right here. Wide screen right there, and we see him break through the two defenders. Another dodge, and he's out on the sidelines, running it through. Number 22 coming in, making it past him. And that's where, that's it. That was all she wrote. And there it is, the beautiful touchdown here with Arcadia going for a field for a PTA. PAT coming up soon, but there seems to be a player down on the field from Braille Linda, so we're going to have to put the excitement on hold a little bit, hope that that Braille Linda player is okay. Really looking back at that, that was an amazing play right there by Keon Chapman. As I was saying, Aaron, it was definitely an even game. And the Arcadia, and the Apache just proved that right now. I'm, I'm super excited, super hyped for that play. I'm getting excited, even up here. And it's just beautiful to watch this type of game. So a 6-6 game right currently. Arcadia PAT coming up. If they make it, it's going to be 7-6. You know, I mentioned earlier that one missed kick by... Brayolinda might come in big later. We're seeing an opportunity for that right now. He has the opportunity to take that lead right now, and I definitely agree with you. That one point is definitely going to come back and kick them in the butt. Kick going up, and they're going to make that one. Arcadia has the lead now, 7-6. We're getting close towards the end of this quarter. No true clue as to what time it is currently, but Arcadia now has a lead going into the six, uh, going into the half. At, we'll see how close that is. What a great play, Sonny. And then we heard chants from the crowd saying overrated, overrated. We don't directly know who they were talking about, but if they were talking about Keon Chapman, completely proved wrong right there, going 87 yards, taking it to the house. Really can't say enough about that great play right there. Absolutely. Arcadia putting in their work already, taking that, taking that lead away from Barrow. Again, these are some strong people. They started off their season strong with two wins already. Hopefully Arcadia can put a stop to that streak. The crowd really getting into this game now. Kitty with a 7-6 lead. Kickoff coming up. Braylinda most likely going to end this one, end this quarter off, see what they can do. Katie's defense going to need to shut him down here. Short kick right there. Not what you want to see. Braylinda able to get some yards after the initial catch. 
So I believe I saw a little holding there, but we're not going to call it here because I don't know. But Arcadia keeping uh, Bray Linda at the 40 yard line. You know, it was a pretty bad kick right there, but Arcadia was able to hold that where they're positioning, and so that's going to start start Bray Linda off before the 40 yard line. So let's see how that goes for them. The fans going. Fans' energy is up. We have the cheerleaders here who keep everybody entertained. Hyped for today's their excitement. Game. Sorry, Aaron. It's fine, Sonny. Arcadia's defense here coming in clutch. Small yard, small gain right there. Second and seven coming up. We'd like to thank uh, Mr. Schultz helping us here while the scoreboard is out. Scoreboard might be coming back soon, so once we get complete. that. But the Arcadians had an opportunity to get an interception with that bounce off Bray Olinda. There, I want to throw that one down. Nice pressure right there. No flags on the play. That's going to bring out fourth and long. Great defense being shown right here by Arcadia. Bringing out the kicking team. A little too short to number nine. Definitely an opportunity there, but again, just too short. First, first game to be commentating with you, Aaron, here and watching this kickoff goal. Not kickoff, I'm sorry. Play, get underway. Oh, they're kicking it off. Oh, the punt, Sonny. A you punt. Know, punt. Uh, my apologies, oh, Arcadia's running it deep. Right here. Defense Going running it again. again. Going through. At the Making 40, it. he gets passed again. That's what's going to be taken to the house. Michael Reed, number one, able to go all the way off that punt. You know, Sonny. Did not know what to call it, but Mikel Reed put that one on the mark right there. That's going to be a weird sound bite, but touchdown Arcadia. Arcadia now up 13 to 6. See right here, punt goes out to Mikel Reed. He makes the grab right there, breaks one tackle. Let's see how many more he gets. No contact yet. Number five coming in clutch right there with that little bit of a block. Another missed dodge, and right there turns on the boosters and goes takes it all the way to the house. Arcadia's Arcadia's special teams has been coming in clutch so far. PAT coming up right now. Arcadia trying to make it a 14 to six advantage. Let's see, kick is up and through. Arcadia up 14 to six. And back to that one point advantage again. Even if Barrelinda gets another touchdown, they're still going to be one or two points behind. Definitely an interesting lead for Arcadia to have so early in the game. What a great, great turn of events in this game, Sonny. It seems whenever I make a wrong call on something, the, uh, the Apaches do so well. You know, Sonny, you know, for the quality of the stream, we would like you not to have these missed calls, but, you know, it's helping, so maybe try to keep it under the low. We can't, we can't be using all our magic here, Sonny. Absolutely. I apologize. So now you know, Sonny. What was that, that kick called? What you, a punt. A punt, yes. A punt. And before that, it was a PAT, a... Extra point attempt? Oh, an EPA. No, you say a, P a PAT means point, uh, point after touchdown. Oh. So extra point attempt, you know, you get one point if you make the kick. But, you know, don't want to get too close into the terms, you know. I bet all the viewers watching very adverse in uh, the rules of football. But you know, if you're not, you're learning something. Absolutely. Uh, Sonny McCall's lack of knowledge. Put a it little nicely. bit, a little bit. Okay. But definitely good for those viewers who don't. So, a little good, a little bad. Still, welcome in stream here. We're getting a little information out to everyone. 
Arcadia getting ready for the uh, for a kickoff after that amazing touchdown by Michael Reed. Crowd really in it now. You know, across from us at the where we currently are in the booth, there's a stand for you can see it right there. There's a stand for the visiting team's fans, and not a lot of energy right there. And that ball, we'll see. Did that ball, was that ball touched by Rhea Olinda? If it was, that's a live ball, Sonny. Let's live see. ball, already back. Let's Arc see that replay. Arcadia gets the ball. Let's see. Did it make contact? And probably, probably not. Let's see. So no, or they did not touch the ball. So unfortunate. Definitely an interesting play, though, to start it off. No, Sonny, they're going to have the ball to start. You know, wow. high school rules not not completely adverse, but I think it might be because the ball when it hit the ground started going back some yards. So. Score is currently 14 to 6. Arcadia threatening, getting close to the end of the second quarter. Long throw right here. Going to make the catch. Is he? Did he get it? He calls the ball in. A touchdown by Arcadia. Such a quick turn of events. Already three touchdowns ahead of Braille. I'm out of my seat. Second touchdown so far in the second quarter. I'm out of my seat. I'm so excited to see all this. Aaron, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm, just, I'm so excited to see our Apaches doing so well, especially against a formidable opponent this early in the season. Or, see right there, look at between the hands, able to haul that one in. Keon Chapman coming in clutch again. Already two touchdowns. He was the one who received the, the throw. Extra point attempt falling in a little bit short. It's going to be 20 to 6 now. Time might be a little off because of our problem. We started up at 6.47, so I expect that time to be a little bit lower. But 6 to 20 is the score now. Such a change of events in this second quarter, Sonny. Absolutely, definitely an invigorating and exciting game for everyone watching so far, especially with Arcadia being the underdog in this case. Gotta love to see it. Apache's coming in clutch already. Short punt right there, or short kickoff right there. Flag going to be on the play. Offsides by Arcadia, going to push Arcadia back a little bit. Getting up a few yards, but still having that two touchdown lead in this, in this case might not be enough to have a Braille Linda take back the lead in this half. Maybe not even for the rest of the game. Let's just wait and see. It was pushed back from the field after that penalty, but not much after that. So five yard penalty. First and 10 still going to head over, hand the ball over to Bray Olinda. Amazing kick right there, even with the penalty, he drops the ball, trying to get past, not going to find much. An amazing kick right there, Arcadia keeping it up. Arcadia pinning down Bay Olinda back at their home. Definitely. Ah, 
I lost for words here, man. This is Arcadia is just putting up such a great performance here tonight, and it's just so. I, it, it leaves me speechless. It, it's so beautiful to watch. It's so beautiful to watch this game. You know, Sonny, don't want to speak too early. You know, still have a whole half to go on after this. Ray Olinda starting with the ball around the 25-yard line. Trying to find where the ball is at, close to the yard of game, close to the sticks. 34-yard line is where the ball is currently positioned. Second and two, coming up. forward to the 41 yard line first down two yard line watching this play over here we can see there we can see the running back pushing through definitely holding out for quite some time there definitely gonna give the give the wildcats some room to work with here though it may not matter much as we near the end of the second quarter Another penalty while we're looking at that replay against Arcadia. That's going to bring Ray Olinda forward by five yards. See so throw right here by the quarterback number 10. Going to be caught. Not going to get to the yard, the sticks, but still a nice gain for them. You know, this second quarter been going on for a pretty long time now, it feels. Arcadia's scoring has just extended this quarter for so long. So far with most things, they've been both a blessing and a curse for both sides. Flags have been a plentiful as well as touchdowns for the Apaches. Ball stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. So two touchdowns coming today from Keon Chapman and one coming from Michael Reed. Been a great performance here today. First down for Bray Olinda. Sticks get to move a little bit. Bray Olinda currently on the Apache's 46 yard line. Might have saw a false start. Nothing being called by the officials. See right there, running back getting out to the side, might have some ground here, going to get past the markers, going to be a first down, see how far they give him. Thirty-two yard line on the Katie side. Ray Allen to first down. Number four out here getting piled on in that last play, but Already back on that first down as we watch this next play. See right here, fakes the pass off, gonna pass it, getting short gain, but after that, nice run right there, gonna get a first down it seems. Gonna be Rene Gonzalez, nice play by him for Breo Olinda. Play right here coming up. Our Bray Olinda trying to get close to that end zone. Not going to get too much gain. Idia finally putting up a fight against that running play.
the replay right there. Running back was not able to gain enough yards there. Defense putting in some good work. Orboard has come back alive now. Score back. Everybody's chanting scoreboard, scoreboard, scoreboard. You know, Sonny, the scoreboard, a big part of the fan experience. Everybody getting up and excited. You know, currently the scoreboard has the American flag on it, but you use what you use. For that time to come up, we're on uh, first down for Bray, first and four for Bray Linda. In the four yard line. So we got the time back, 133 left of this game. This game has been moving at a snail's place since the since that scoreboard went out initially. Acadia trying to get some blocks here. See, getting close. They're going to get the touchdown right there, cutting this lead in. Bray Olinda with the touchdown. Number four brings it in, Nathan Aceves. He scored the first touchdown, now gets a second one. That's going to cut the lead down currently to 12-20. to 20. So getting close to a one-score game, Arcadia not able to stop Nathan right there as he runs to the corner. So they're going for a two-point conversion, Sonny, because they got to cut this point lead down. Kadia trying to get the stop. They're not going to get it. Big two-point conversion right there. Cuts the lead down 14 to 20. We have a lot of whistles, though, currently. We'll see. There is a flag on the play, so whistles bless Arcadia. Offsides on Bray Olinda. That's going to that's gonna push them back five yards, maybe rethink their decision to go for it here. Special teams unit is changing on, so might see the kick here. See what they do. Oh, we could use this to take that one point rather than that two. A little bit greedy there, unfortunately, but here we are. They might be going for it here, Sonny. Trying to see. No, looks like they are. We'll see. Point conversion from this distance doesn't seem very likely, but no, they're going for an extra point attempt, Sonny. So an extra point attempt. They're not going for it after that penalty. Arcadia hoping to get the block here, keep it an eight-point game. Horn blows out of nowhere, and they're going to get that PAT. 13 to 20. Nishrod Pele coming from Brea Linde here, bringing it back just a little bit, but as we near the end, it's Moving at a snail's pace. I honestly can't keep up. My heart's racing. And just this whole game so far has just been ups and downs. And honestly, I can't keep up. But our game is moving. Arcadia is winning. And we're on our kickoff with Bray Olinda. Here comes the kickoff. Arcadia has enough time to move this ball up the field if they can. It's going to be a far kick caught around the five-yard line. Getting through the first hole, getting through a second one. Not going to get through the third. So he got the first pass, second pass, third one. Got a little too, got too unlucky right there. 
It's a nice gain to start off. Ball is going to be at the 29 yard line. First and 10. One and ten with a minute and and fourteen on twenty nine yard line. Kadia pulling it down. See what offense has planned for this one. Getting ready for the next play here. Two wide, three wide receivers out. Same running play. Not going to make it that far. Very unfortunate. The heart of that defense working well for Bray Olinda. That's going to bring the clock down. Katie looking like they're not going to make a big push right here. Just going to run this clock down with running plays. If so, one more running play will bring this one out. This uh, first half to an end. Let's see what Arcadia is going to do. They're going for the running play. Hoping something good happens. This one getting past. Oh, gets to the 45 yard line. I don't know. They're thinking about spiking it right here. Keep that clock stopped where it is. Seconds left in clock the second half. Clock is currently half. not moving. And the clock is not moving. Okay, yes, here it Aaron. goes. Arcadia gets a spike go. down. Ooh. Unfortunate. With that spike, Arcadia has some more ground to work with. Another miracle might happen right at the end, but. But nothing, Arcadia is doing amazing. Holding it down, running down that clock. Maybe able to get that one last play. Maybe take it back up with that two point lead or with that two touchdown lead. Hopefully by the end. Let's see what they have in store. Just get close enough for the, the field goal right here. Big throw. He cannot hold it in. Nice try right there by number zero. Number zero. Nice play right there by number zero. You know, that's a new number in football in the NFL. They just allowed it this year, so maybe high school games. They're allowing them now. Goes. Let's watch this next play. And the whistle blows. Delay of game, pushing back the Apaches. Katie gonna need a big play right here. Here far, trying to go for a pass, gets knocked down, 11 seconds now. You know, looking like Anthony Davis in that one basketball ad, rejecting that one. Rejected by Anthony Davis. See a little bit of a strange walk off by number 72, hoping that he's all right. Substitutions coming in. Looks like they're just gonna punt this one off. So this will be the final play if uh, Bray Olinda decides to run this one. Kick is up and the kick is far, straight to the ground. Bray Olinda catches it off the ground. 
And he's not going to get that far. That's going to bring the clock down at 2.6 seconds. So Rayo Lindo will have one play. Katie needs one stop here, and then we'll move towards the end of, or towards halftime. During halftime, we'll have our normal performances. So make sure to stay. And then also after halftime, back into this football game. See right there. Gets past a few tackles. Ends up being taken down right there with 2.6 seconds left to go. As much as I look forward to watching this game and announcing it with you, I also look forward to seeing the halftime performance done by our marching band, especially a pretty large band we got going here at Arcadia. Arcadia always has a large marching band, large band as well. Always, you know, we always are in those uh, those parades, so got to have a big band to show off. And that would be halftime. So the end of halftime here, Arcadia is up 13 to 20. It seems that the halftime whistle is blown too quickly. And now that's going to be the official end of the second quarter. Arcadia is going into the locker room up 20 to 13. Definitely a wonderful way to see the end of the second quarter, especially after that first. So Sonny, after that second half, Arcadia ends off being up 13 to 20. So Arcadia looking good against Braille Linda, who previously had an unstoppable defense, or offense, I mean. Sonny, what have you seen so far? Wonderful plays by both sides, especially with Braille Linda in that first quarter, but they, uh, the Apaches brought it back. They really did, and I, I'm out of much here. I'm excited. It, such, such amazing up and downs here that we got going on in this game. And honestly, I couldn't say that I was more excited for the first game. Michael Reed and uh, Chapman have been putting in some amazing work here, putting Arcadia up by one touchdown currently. We'll see if they're able to extend that lead going into the second half. Sonny, are there anything that you feel that Arcadia needs to improve going into the second half? Maybe a little less flags, but that applies to both sides. But they've been a blessing as well. A blessing curse, who knows? But I like I like the variety. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Nothing more I can say on that other than it's just an amazing game so far. And we're having some fun here tonight. Yeah, and also, my little tidbit, I would like to see some uh, better defense on those running plays. It seems like Braille Linda, when they pass it off to their running back, it's just Arcadia has no sway to stop it most of the time. I'd like to see that get patched up, but... We'll see how Arcadia comes out for the second half. So thank you all for staying here for this first half. We're going into halftime. Make sure to stay here as we uh, go into this third quarter in just under a little bit, just over a little bit of 10 minutes.
beautiful performance today by our Arcadia's uh, marching band out here. And so, Aaron, what have been some key plays so far? Well, Sonny, if you haven't watched that first half, a lot of crazy stuff has gone on. Uh, Breo Linda started off hot in that first uh, drive. They scored the touchdown, not able to make the PAT, so that got them to 6 to nothing. Then out of nowhere, going to the second quarter, Arcadia just started turning on the offense, getting two touchdowns on special teams, and then one beautiful catch in the end zone. One touchdown from Michael Reed off a punt, and then two from Chapman. So it's been a great performance by Arcadia, and we're going to see if they're able to keep it up here. Absolutely, with that Brea Linda touchdown towards the end, it definitely is making this game a lot closer than it should be, but Arcadia is holding strong. But that again, those running plays that Brea Linda's got, definitely got to step up on Arcadia. So there's a lot that Arcadia and Brea Linda are looking to fix in this second half, and we'll see if they are able to improve on those. Arcadia and Brea Linda are currently getting prepared, getting stretches done for the second half. Excited to see some good football coming up here. That's all from us. I was excited to see our Apaches coming back out. Returning to their sideline. So getting close to the start of this one. 12 minutes on the clock now. Third quarter coming up. Energy we got going on. Going into the start. We got a little water down here. Give me a little pep talk. Love to see it. So kickoff coming up, Ray Olinda is going to kick it off to Arcadia after choosing to receive the ball first. There's the whistle. Kicker getting ready, unleashes his leg right here. That one is up. That one's pretty good. Going to get to the 20, around the 15 yard line. He's past the 30, actually going to be taken down right in front of it. So good start. He's going to start off at around the 29-yard line.
go with a running play, running it through, and on the f ending on the 40-yard line with Arcadia. Was it blowing? No, no flags here. Beautiful play by our offensive, by the offense here at Arcadia. First to 10, Arcadia on the 40-yard line. Pass there, running it on the side, getting it through. Tackled though, couldn't make it all the way through there. Ending at about the 46 line, 46 yard line. An eight yard pickup and correction, 48 yard line. Looking good, pushing through, you'd love to see it. Arcadia now gonna have to go two yards to get this first down. Shouldn't be that hard, but we will see what Brea Olinda's defense will put up to play. You're even just running the ball can get a first down, but Arcadia seems to be pushing it here and probably gonna go for a pass. Try to get those extra yards in. Looked like a false start. Not gonna call it though. Saw yeah. multiple people on Brea Linda's line just jumping all around. There, they're gonna call. Let's see what it is. Delay of game against Arcadia. So pushing them back five yards, second and seven. So now we understand why they're going for the pass. Just trying to get a flag right there. Second and seven. Two receive three receivers out. Hands it off to the running back, trying to get to the outside. He's going to get through the first tackle, going to be taken down shortly after the initial contact. Getting to the 47-yard line, picking up four. Now it's third and three, so quite manageable for Arcadia. Let's see what they are able to do right now. That one passed out to the side. They should be able to get the first down yardage and a little bit more. Rough Lost tackle, the ball man. at the end, but Arcadia able to receive it, or able to jump on it. First and 10 Apaches around the 45 yard line. See right there, towards the end of that play, the ball came loose, but luckily we had a man right there to catch it. Second and five. Amazing play by Keon Chapman here watching this replay. We see him running it through, taking it down, but pushed just a little bit back. Big hit right there. Unfortunate, but the Apaches are still pushing. We'd love to see these aggressive plays, especially again being the underdogs in this case. by Arcadia, so second and five. will come up after this timeout. Arcadia was able to get that stop to start it. Oh wait, I'm just creating ideas in my mind. Arcadia is still continuing with this drive. It's been a long one. Already taking four minutes off the clock. A little short, so this a little second short.
Back up on the play here with Arcadia, seeing what they got in store with a uh, 2 and 5. A wide wall we got going here with Arcadia's offense. Let's see the play. And they're off, going for a wide, and he gets it. Down to the third line, he's running it. That could be another touchdown. Arcadia, number one touchdown, Arcadia. Another one. A hug right there, Michael Reed, able to get the touchdown right there. Beautiful, beautiful play, Sonny, great call. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Again, number one out here, running it down. We'd love to see it, watch this replay, seeing the wide receive, getting ahead of all of the defenders, just route running them. Just, it's, they can't catch him. And be beautiful stop. Nothing more you can say there. Arcadia is now up 26 to 13. Might be running away with it after that big, big touchdown. Michael Reed now with two on the, during this game, and Chapman with two as well. And that's going to be a made extra point attempt. So 27 to 13 now, 14 point lead for Arcadia. Starting to run away with it. in the start again with that early touchdown with what is it, Rayo Linda starting it off strong but Acadia bringing it back, putting on the pressure not letting up, pushing Rayo Linda, unstoppable so far, already showing off that they have the, that they have the tenacity to keep this up, showing off that even though Rayo Linda is formidable right now, they don't stand a chance. Abreu Linda as you mentioned in the start came in with a 38 point average per game and Arcadia might be able to get their average in this game. In the previous games they scored very little against their opponent. Now just having this offensive outlash against Abreu Linda. You see when a team finally pops off and in this case we're watching it live, watching it beautiful, just watching it happen. Short receive right there. So not even going to try to make any moves right there. The Cats on the 35 yard line with first and 10. Let's see what they got going on here. Wide receiver, pretty spread out wide receivers we got here on uh, the right side. Going to need a first and ten. They're just trying to get any yards. Fake the handoff. Going to get the catch right there. Oh, fell incomplete. No. Tough angle to tell from right there. So second and ten coming up for the Wildcats. Arcadia's defense still putting on some work. Let's see a replay of that. This is of the kickoff. See, not even trying to, to make any advancements. Not really worth it. Now back here, we see some movement from both sides. Clap. And a pass off, running it down in the middle, trying to fake that pass. But tackle down in the middle. Strong center defense here by Arcadia. So here's the pass, gonna look deep. He's going to be able to get his man, might be around first yard, first down yardage. We're gonna say short, fourth and inches coming up here. I'm gonna say it's one yard short, looks a little bit closer than that, but can't, we don't have advanced measurements here, not the NFL, but. 
Steve Ortiz is able to hold them up for one, one yard. We're going to see the blitz most likely here. They're very aggressive like Arcadia was last quarter. We'll probably try to go for a passing throw, see if they can get some yardage there. They go for the handoff on the sideline. Nobody's there. Might be able to get him around the legs. It's going to be close. Looks like he's going to be able to get the first yard line. Let's see who, what, how are they going to measure it? They're going to say it's a first down. Really, really close play right there. Arcadia's defense trying all they can, not able to get the stop right there. Helping them at just over the line, just over the line. Definitely hard on their offensive here for Ray Alinda. Running it down the middle again. No, trying to go for a pass. All on the side, and they're running it through. But Arcadia stops it again, getting another first down. So, so Ray Alinda now at the 41 yard line. Forty-one yard line. Brayolinda is going to fake the handoff, throws to the sideline, going to get maybe five yards, maybe a little bit more. Brayolinda putting on the pressure now. Now that we're, now we're starting to see again the aggression both sides have here in this game. So Brayolinda not trying to go down easy. They currently have a double, uh, a two-score disadvantage currently, but touchdown here can even the score a little bit closer. Let's see, trying to get a false start right there. Not going to get it, so throws out on the side. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Again, Bray Olinda is having some pretty good uh, pretty good plays right here. Drive, this drive has been going on for a good minute now. They're trying to get through. They're not going to find the first, uh, first down yardage, but still going to get around half. Three yards, as they're saying. Second and seven. Ball is on the 25 yard line exactly. Visual is calling a timeout. Seems every team, both teams will take a break quickly. Both teams got a hugger down here. Definitely plotting both of their offensive. Both the defenses here, as they say, a good, the best defense is a great offense. And as we can see here, the catch is going so aggressive. Even on defense, we can see them holding down that center. But that's good against the running plays, as we mentioned uh, at the start of this. The, they were a little weak against that. But as we can see here, they're starting to do a little bit better. But as they start going wide and faking those passes, it's definitely putting their patches in a tough position to try to predict it. Very true, Sonny. We're going to see if uh, Arcadia is able to keep up with that. Second and seven. Very real possibility for Arcadia trying to get the stop here, forcing the field goal. Two and seven coming up here. See if Brayolinda will be able to get the first down or face the third down. Looks like they are going to get the first down. Might get a little bit more right here. Getting close to that. Getting close to that 10 yard line. Might be inside a little bit. Spotted at the nine yard line. First goal from the nine yard line. First, first and goal we've seen all night. Seems. Every single play has been outside of the goal. Lots of scoring drives. 
See if Rail Linda is going to be able to add one here right now. Seeming like a guarantee unless Arcady can have some good defense here. Takes the pass. Going to go down with the running back. Not going to get to the pylon. Oh, they say that he made it all the way to the end zone. So, a little bit of a tough angle, but Abreu Linda is able to cut that lead down. Currently at 19, 19 to 27 with an extra point attempt. Abreu Linda could get it to 20 to 27. One touchdown. Again, that one point is definitely coming back to haunt them. So if they miss it, they're probably going to have to come back down with another two points. Definitely been unfortunate, but as we're going to watch here, we're going to see this actually one time. We're just going to have to see. What excitement is here from the Apaches and from Brea Linda fans alike. Definitely love to see it. Always have been, definitely been an exciting game so far. So here comes the PAT, puts it up. That one is going to go up in between the upright. So it's a good start right there from the third quarter for both teams that able to add a touchdown. Score still stays the same at a seven point advantage for Arcadia. Kickoff is coming up after that touchdown drive by Breo Alinda. Defense had a long time being out there on the field, so time to give it a break. Special teams currently on, and the offense will come on after. Already at four minutes and 20 seconds here. We're seeing some interesting... Uh, interesting some... football being played today. Absolutely. This, this quarter has seemed like it's gone by so quickly, maybe because that second quarter got a little extended after that. Little mishap with the scoreboard. Here we're gonna get caught around the five yard line. He's gonna start running. Lots of tackles. Misses one. Second one. Third one missed. Fourth one missed. Five, fifth one missed. Sixth one was the charm. Able to get him right there. Nice run play right there by, by Eric Rush. What's his name? Rush. He was rushing through those tackles. No one seemed to be able to stop him. This kind of behavior with uh, number four in the second quarter. Unstoppable plays. As we can see, once the Arcadians get a little grasp, a little, just just a little bit ahead, just just a little inch, as soon as our uh, lets off, Bray Linda lets off that gas, Arcadia is able to take advantage of it. Three wide receivers out. They're going to hand the ball off, trying to get some yards here. Not going to get much. Met or past the 30-yard line. Keon Chapman gets two yards on that play, second and eight now. Trying to find a pass, he throws it out, gets a man right there at the 45. He's going all the way down. That's going to be a touchdown right there on a play that didn't look like it had anything going on. Touchdown right there. Amazing play. 67-yard touchdown again. Brio and Linda letting off the gas here and letting Arcadia get it get in and getting that pass, letting it go for it. Just. Number Too zero much. right there, able to make the catch, Jalen Moulton. 
coming in with that touchdown. Amazing, amazing play by Arcadia, putting them up again by 13 points. BAT trying to make it put them up by 14. Well, seems like as soon as Barry Linda scores, Arcadia just puts another one up to keep them running, keep them on their toes, and just having them, just forcing them to have to keep it up. Oh, and it's not that good. It hits the goalpost. Hits goal the goalpost, Sonny, like you just said. So that's going to be a 13 point lead. It's going to stay like that. 33 to 20, but don't count out Bray Olinda. They still got a chance in this game. Just over 15 minutes left. Arcadia's coming up for the kickoff after, let me do the math real quick, Sonny. How many touchdowns have we seen so far? So we had, what was it, three in the first, and now it's two here, so five touchdowns. Who missed extra point attempts on both sides? Here comes the kick. That's a pretty good one. Getting to exactly around the 25 yard line. He gets past three tackles and gets taken down on the fourth at the 40 yard line. Number eight, Jackson Lowe able to put some uh, pressure on Arcadia. This is a replay. We can see it was going pretty high. We had one Arcadia defender already going, but already blocked, bringing it down to the next two. And that makes it three. Grabbing his legs, dropping him, and down on the 40. Seeing where we're at now. So first and 10 at the 40 is where Braille Linda will start off. Seems like their offense was just on the field, but Arcadia scoring that touchdown, putting them right back on there. So battle of attrition, really. Arcadia with the 13 point lead. Here comes the first play by Braille Linda. They're running it up the up the little middle side. Side of the middle, not going to get first down, going to be around five yards. Pressure in that center again. Arcadia not letting up anymore. But as we've seen so far, once Arcadia, once, once Arcadia starts holding down that center, Braille Linda starts pushing out towards the sides. But here we can see just that mosh with that dog pile in the center. Ooh, and man, still down. Might have to give a little break. Might be a little cramped, but let's hope the best for him.
So it's looking like the injured player for Braille Linda is getting back up. So it's good to see that. But you know, something a lot has already happened in this third in the second half. You want to recap some of the things we saw? Well, we've already seen a hyper-aggressive play by Arcadia running that 63-yard touchdown with that wide receive outrunning everyone. On top of that, we've got Barrow Linda pushing it inch by inch. Arcadia's defense kind of holding up, not really against those wide receive, against those wide passes and uh, rushes. But other than that, they've been holding out against Barrow Linda so far, and it's definitely been a strong and strong and interesting game. It's been good so far. The offense is starting to come back on the field, so. We're going to get back into this game. Arcadia currently up by 13. play going out to the sides number eight by a wildcat first to ten at the arcadia 45 here already stacking back up seeing braille and with that aggressive play two wide receivers out on out on the side so what we got here faking uh faking uh Ooh, failed pass. Incomplete pass out on the sides. Faking out that, what is it, pass, or pass off in the middle. Trying to fake him out again. We've seen that so far with Bray Linda faking out passes while they were trying to rush it in. Here we see Bray Linda running it out. Trying to get that. Too low. Overshot it. Or undershot there, uh, the wide receiver there, a little bit too fast as well. Here we go, with the little with that wide receiver, two tackles down on the side here. Bray Linda pushing up to the 35 with the first and 10, first down. So just under two minutes now left of this third quarter. Arcadia's get or Arcadia's getting close to their own end zone. Going to have to put up some better defense here. You can see these two sides are just going back and forth, and we get a tackle here, keeping Braille Linda back where they are. Complete. 31. 31 yard line, making it two and six here. Watching the instant replay, we see a complete pass and an aggressive tackle right there, pushing him back, keeping him down. Kadia keeping up that pressure. So with ball on the with the ball on the 31 yard line and two and six, you can see any type of play from uh, Braille Linda here. Have some downs to play with. See, they're going to hand it off to the running back. He's going to get over to. Close to the line, close to the first down. Not going to get it though, just short. Clock is going down. There will be a play before the end of this fourth quarter or end of this third quarter. There is another injury on the field, so another break we will have right here.
Andrew Clare is now back up, and we're starting to get back into the game here. Katie being the first one out of the ball. Brea Linda still in a little huddle here. Good for him getting back up. Now here we are, getting back into our game. Maryland on the offense on the 31 yard line. With three and one. Close to a first down. Probably just gonna rush a year. But let's see if they're gonna play an aggressive pass here. Get that extra yardage. And here going for defense. Getting a running pass here down the middle. And he's tackled, but that is gonna be a first down. With 34 seconds left. So 34 seconds left. You know, a running play that should keep the clock going. Clock is currently down, but see, there goes the clock. See if they choose to run a play right here, try and catch Arcadia not paying attention, but no need to, as you will get the free timeout. Let's see what they do. Ray Olinda still right there, waiting, drawing the clock. They take the snap right there, trying to find and go. They go deep, and that is going to be caught, and there's flags, might be pass interference on Arcadia, so most likely to climb. So if that is pass interference on Arcadia, that will be a touchdown for Breo Olinda. We have to see right here. Breo Olinda coming in clutch already, even at the end of the third quarter, as we can see again, just aggressive teams pushing each other back and forth, back and forth. It's a wonderful game to be watching the commentating on. They're still waiting for the call from the refs. See what they say. Pass interference on the defense. That was declined, so touchdown for Brea Linda. Putting that score up to 26-33 now, currently. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Brea Linda, so that means after the for the kickoff, they're gonna be taken back. They're going for the PAT currently. Information for you see right there. I uh, can't see any of the unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, the penalty is being enforced on the kickoff. I mean, on the PAT attempt. So it's going to be a long one-point kick. We'll see if that will make a difference here. Earlier we saw Braille Linda try to go for a two-point conversion, but again getting a penalty and getting pushed back this far. Let's see how they do again with this long distance uh, uh, extra point, extra oh, point if, attempt. If you can't make it, this might be the, the nail in the coffin for Braille Linda. It's going to be a big one. Crowd is quiet, waiting to see this kick. Flags up, and if the kick was fine, he would have made it. Offsides on Arcadia, so that's going to bring Brea Linda closer. getting closer to the field goal or for the PAT. They already made a very long one, firstly. So this one shouldn't be a trouble. Hoping I jinx that one. See, Braille Linda, they kick it up. That one's gonna be up and through. Oh, he missed the kick. So that's gonna be massive. The score is gonna stay 26 to 33. Linda by, catching by, up seven, here. by seven, Sonny. So, Brea Linda, when they come up, they are going to be forced. If they score a touchdown and Arcadia is not able to respond, they are going to be forced to go with a two point conversion to take this lead. We'll see 10 seconds left. Brea Linda getting ready to kick this one off. Shouldn't last long. We'll, see, we'll move into the fourth quarter. Switch sides. Field. All right, I'm feeling a little hopeful. As we saw earlier, there was a kickoff touchdown here. Touch off kick, or there was a kickoff touchdown that we had earlier, so let's see if Arcadia can bring back another miracle. Keeping down Braille Linda. You now the Wildcats have been putting on a good, a good performance after being down for a majority of this game now. Really only in that second quarter were they ever up. I mean in that first quarter. 
It's going to be a far kick. It's going to be a hard one to bring up. Let's see how they do. Tackle the receiver. The trips on himself. Nobody made contact, but you know, all that, all the defense coming in made him trip up. So, should be seeing one play right here as we move into the fourth quarter after this one play. See how Arcadia can do it. And out of the wire here on this last play in the quarter, most likely. Have a flag on the play, but we're going out and. So if this flag is on, it's going to be the end of the quarter, and there seems to be a. Flag on the play. See who it is on. Might see a replay of this down. Waiting for the ref's call. False start or offsides on Arcadia. Penalty declined, so that will bring us to the end of this first or for of this third quarter, moving into the last stretch of football. Really coming down to the wire here. As we saw earlier, Arcadia was holding a nice two touchdown lead, but now it's coming back to just the one. Hopefully Arcadia can keep up this lead and just hold out to the end of the game. Let's see what Arcadia has for that uh for that plan towards the end of the game. Field has flipped after that. So Arcadia now coming from the right side of the field. Going out there, going to have to make it all the way down to the left end zone. Start of the final quarter here tonight. Arcadia up by seven. That play not going to gain anything. Loss of some major yardage. We'll see how much it is. Ball is spotted at the 15 yard line, so it's going to be a big third down. Third and 14. Sonny, you know what I see in that scoreboard? I see a little pie. 3.14 if you put a point instead of the and. Just a little something. Oh, I'd love me some pie. Some pie? Yes, sir. How about math? Oh, math, not so much. Well, how about what happens when you combine the two? You get a very uh, strange combination. A very strange Thanksgiving, I should say. Here come. They're not going to move off the field. That's a. Let's see what they do here. That's going to be. Seems like it was caught. Fourth and 14. Sloppy by the offense here. Trying, letting the defense, letting the letting the defense through, getting to the quarterback, and then having to just go for a hail mary pass there—a bit unfortunate. But we are going to start off. A, we are giving our Real Linda a bit of a lead here. Maybe not. If we can go for a nice long kick over here. So far, Arcadia has been mostly going for short kicks, but we're going to see how we do here. Hunt going, and that's going to be a weak one. So it's going to be good starting position for Brea Linda. So Brea Alinda. So Sunny, you might want to put a comeback on your radar. 
Let's see that replay. Short kick, just complete, like a line drive. That would have been a good pass of a baseball. Trying to get it to the, in, the infield. That's going to be great starting position for Brea Linda. Twenty-six, thirty-three, one score game. Brea Linda, if they get near and if they get a touchdown, they would have to be they would be faced with an important question about whether to go for a PAT or a two-point conversion. But let's hope that Brea Linda is able to is not able to get that touchdown with Arcadia's defense. They're going to run it. That's going to be a good first run. Getting stuck behind his own man is number four. Nathan with Nathan Estevez was not able to get past his own man right there. Seems like he got tripped. You see right there, one of his linebackers just pushed him out. 74 right there was the one that blocked him. Well, Aaron, they may be coming a bit close, but that's just what makes the game of football that much more interesting here. Getting these tight, getting these type and getting these tight end games just adds to that excitement. And so far, it's already been exciting. Already an exciting game so far. I'll wait to see the end of this game. We're here back on the 27 yard line, two and 10. Fourth quarter with 10.40, 10 Here comes the pass right here. Going to be a short pass, trying to get it. He's at the 10-yard line. There's one man left. Going to stop him, not going to get there. Touchdown for Brea Linda. This game is now a one-point game, 33-32. to Brea Linda trailing by one. Let's see what they make on the decision. Very interesting ending coming up here. Let's look. take another look at this touchdown. See right there, number 88. Looked like a tight end, be able to make that catch and run it all the way. Tackle by number four was not enough to stop him. So looks like Brea Olinda is going to go for the PAT. That's going to, if they're able to make it, it's going to cut the game to a, uh, it's going to make the game a tied game, which we couldn't even imagine based on how it was before. Scoring the touchdown was Addison Altermat. That kick is up and up and through. So it's 33-33 now. Oh, my heart raising here. Hopefully our kid can get a touchdown here. Bring it back and just stall time here. But it, again, it's just such a such a varying game. We've had our ups and downs, sides to sides, all over the place here. I, I'm, I can't wait to see this next play. So after a game, after a wave of emotions, the start of the game, Brea Linda up. Second quarter, Arcadia showing off their moves. Third quarter, we saw more of the same with Arcadia, but also Brea Linda clawing into this lead. And just now in the fourth quarter, Brea Linda is able to put a mark on this one and now tie it up 33-33. We'll see if they're able to, or what team will be able to come up in this game. Kickoff is going to be a big one. See Arcadia's starting position. Ten minutes left in this one. Rough here, and here we go with the kickoff. Long... Back to Arcadia, let's see what we get. Caught, actually let go out in the end zone, so Arcadia is going to take that ball to around the 20-yard line for the touchback. Let's see where they spot it. It's going to be at the 25-yard line. Oh, 20-yard line. Or 
Arcadia now starting at the 20 yard line. They're going to have 80 yards to go if they want to score that touchdown. Any points will help on this drive. First and 10. They're running it. They're going to get some good yardage here, getting close to that first down. False hope there, as we've seen so far. When Arcadia gets out on that side, really, with that really loose defense, we've seen them be able to run it pretty far. But here, Berlin has been able to catch up, as you can see, with that. Both teams are finally catching up to pace with each other. It's definitely coming down to the wire. Exactly 10 minutes left right there now, kicking down. Getting close to the end of this one. Second and third, Arcadia is going to get the first down here. Pushing for more yards. Going to be around the 38-yard line. So third, at ball on the 38-yard line, first and 10. Arcadia able to gain 18 yards on that, fir that first set of downs on this drive. Center rush here, not able to get that far. Arcadia, coming back to that replay. You can see them trying to get that out, unable to get through, unable to get that proper block, and just getting, just getting tackled here. A bit unfortunate for offense, but at, that is only the second down. Still 13 more yards to go in the fourth quarter with eight minutes and 50 seconds left. 35 yards. There we go for a long pass, high up. It's where we're going, and it's not good. No, no clearance there, unfortunately, on that pass. But definitely a good try. So 8.47 in this game left. Game tied, 33-33. It's a close one, everyone in their seats excited to see this game. Third and 13, this is gonna be a tough one. Arcadia chooses to take the timeout right here. comes third down they're going deep trying to get it right there he's not going to come in with the ball not able to grab it right there you see Braille Linda's sideline clapping on the defense so that's going to bring on fourth down for Arcadia yeah, unfortunate for definitely unfortunate here for the Apaches or 13. Not, not sure what they're going to do here. Still have a ways to go, but as we've seen so far, the Apaches have been pretty aggressive in these plays, but let's see if they try to go for something safe. They're going for a punt. Keeping them back. See how they go. Ball lands at the 40-yard line. Keeps rolling past the 35. Going to stop right there at the 33-yard line. Yeah. 
Rhea Linda now has a chance to take the lead in this one. 8.31 left in this game. Enough time for both teams to get a possession here. Arcade, you know what we've not seen at all, Sonny? We have not seen any turnovers via interceptions or fumbles. We saw one turnover, which was because of a, uh, a punt that Rhea Linda was just not able to jump on. See if we can see any other turnovers in favor of Arcadia here. Yeah, that's what makes this game so interesting. As we can see, we can go for a fake pass, and we have a flag on the play with Rayo Linda trying to run it through. Let's see where we're at. Arcadia had 12 men on the field. Someone added one too many. Carolina coming back with these aggressive plays. Arcadia again, not being able to counteract these. Down at the 42 yard line. He was having a bit uh, difficulty handling these rushing plays in the beginning of the game. And it seems like it's coming back to them. Hopefully the Arcadians are able to pick it back up and come back to where they were before. Again with another rushing play by Braille Linda. And as we can see, the Arcadia did pick it back up. Able to stop it, keep it in the tracks. Down with the, down on the. Ooh, it's a first down. Unfortunately, I guess they weren't able to keep it down too much. This is a replay. We can see them. Ooh, it doesn't, doesn't seem so. But I, maybe. The guys are still calling it down to be a first down, and which is unfortunate for the Apaches. But here we are on the 42-yard line. With a wide pass here, seeing what we got, just a little too high. Katie is definitely there riding it, hopefully able to stop it, but nonetheless, still an incomplete pass. No progression. See the replay right here, just too, too far. Maybe if he had some like super stretchy arms, could have got it. So second and ten coming up for Brea Linda. They're going to need something here. Arcadia could very easily run down the clock as they go up on the field. If they're able to get the ball back, Brea Linda not going to be able to get many yards right there. Might get them halfway through. Six Aaron yards pick up. But Aaron, Aaron, progress is progress. And Brea Linda here is definitely pushing down, taking down Arcadia. But, um, that's disappointing to see here, but oh, definitely aggressive plays here. Back on this, on the 48-yard line. And four. It's got very man manageable for Brea Linda. Let's see, they're running it. They're going to get the first down and more right here. Running back, he loses the football turnover right here. Arcadia running up now. Arcadia at the 40, getting to the 45. We spoke about turnovers, Sonny. Speaking and right soon. there, turnovers. Well, speaking early, because I said maybe we might see a turnover for Arcadia, and that one is a blessing for them. See right here. Right here, nice hit right there. Got the helmet right on his arm. That's going to be a painful one for Bray Linda, but able to steal the ball. Number 12 running around with it. A little bit get past number 16 and number 4 here, but... Still an interesting game. We've been on point with our calls here, and it's making it that much better to hear. Eddie on the offense here with a bunch of red receivers out. Probably going for some passing plays, hopefully. Again, one, with that aggressive play, again with that aggressive mindset. One and ten on the 44-yard line. Here comes the pass. Going deep for the first one. Mikel Reed right there. Does he haul it in? Yes, he does. Massive, hey. massive gain right there by Michael Reed. What a great first play of this drive. Arcadia really putting on the pressure right here. 
can see Aguero and Linda is just able to push down and just be able to keep the scoring up. But here, Arcadia is able to make miracle plays. And with that, we can see that aggressive catch. Well, standing dominantly. Can number one standing dominantly. Right? Michael Reed. See right the quarterback there. here getting pretty far, going out to the sidelines, unfortunately, but still a running play by the quarterback. This is definitely interesting way to go. You know, looking like Lamar Jackson right there. Lamar Jackson always using his legs. Some people say that he's not a quarterback, he's a running back right there. Quarterback is showing off his running back ways. So ball in the 31 yard line. Arcadia having an amazing, amazing game so far. Trying to score, you need at least to get in range for an attempt at a field goal. See how Arcadia can do that right now. Motion in the play, Arcadia snaps it, goes for the quick pass to the guy in motion. Going to get tackled, that's going to be around four yards, three yards maybe. Let's see where they spot it. Beautiful progression by the Apaches. Let's see a replay right here. Motion coming in and then he's able to catch the ball, get some yards in. Ball marked at the 30. At the, let's see, that is the 29 yard line. Even after getting tackled that hard, he was still able to bring it back. 28 yard line, it's third and five. Arcadia having a real good chance right here to convert on the first down. Arcadia looking to pass, throws it up. And that's going to be not called in. Incomplete pass. Arcadia has now put up with a tough decision. You go for around the 40 yard field goal, or do you go for a. Let's see the replay first. If you. Your tough decision here. Do you, you go for the field goal, or do you go for it on fourth and five? If you go for it fourth and five, you, even if you miss up, you still put uh, Bray Alinda in pretty bad starting position. Looks like they will be going for it. Guns are blazing. You see the aggression we have at the Apaches. Arcadia really going to need this conversion right here. Quarterback putting up, throws it out. Going to be too far. Three steps too far for Michael Reed. He's gassed out of that. That first catch of this drive was amazing. Michael just gassed after the, that play. Apaches will turn over on downs. So after this, Bray Olinda will start at, 20, at the 28 yard line. They're gonna to have to make a long, long drive all the way. 72 yards needed for the touchdown. A miracle play here for Braylon to catch up, but as we've seen so far, they've just been pretty good at just pushing and inching their way towards the goal, unlike Arcadia. I'm gonna play here. Let's see what the call is. Five yard penalty on Arcadia, moving Brea Linda just a little bit more. First and five coming up. Starting this turnover with an uh, advantage here with Brea Linda. Just right a fumble there. there, but definitely a wide receive there out on the sidelines. That's going to be a first down. Move those sticks for Brea Alinda. Ball is on the 42-yard line. Brea Alinda already moved 14 yards. Five minutes left. I didn't even see an overtime here. I see a lot of things, Sonny. That is true. Seeing a lot of movement here. Katie's defense was set by the start of that. Running back able to get through one through that line and able to make a strong tackle just to fight for a few more yards after the initial contact. Brea Linda really moving this ball well. Now at the 48-yard line. 
It's going to be second and four coming up after this one. See Strong met him with his shoulder and was able to gain an extra two, three yards. Second and four. Here comes the snap. Running it up the middle. Not going to get. Might get the first down at the end. Wow, at the end, they, Ray Olindo was able to get, might be, Ray Olindo was able to get fourth, or four yards at the end with that push. Amazing play right there. Not have predicted that one. Strong push right there, giving Ray Olindo the first down. Flags come out, we'll see, might be 12 men. Legal substitution most likely. False start on, on the offense, actually. So Arcadia getting some uh, blessings right there, moving them back to the 42nd yard line. 48 yard line. Hey That's the four minutes left. You're going for a wide pass. Hopefully, Arcadia's able to stop it. And it's intercepted. Paul tried to dunk on his head with that catch, but the cornerback was able to stop him. That could have been really deadly for Arcadia. Let's see this one. Right there, trying to jump up. Oh, almost. That defender almost got, almost got mossed right there. But able to come up. Be excited now. On the Second and 15. Going to be a long one for Brea Linda. Going for the pass. Quick pass out to the middle. Able to get past. Going to get first down yardage. Flag comes out on the play. Currently, it is a first down. Flag on the play. Alinda moving back, so most likely against them. Eagle, illegal use of hands by Brea. Alinda pushes them back, so it'll be a 1 and 20. We're second and 18 now. Two yeah, with having luck on their side here, just having Brea Alinda making these awful plays with that. Multiple flags here, just keeping them back. And we're gonna see a sack here with Arcadia. Number six, number six here with the sack. What a wonderful play by Arcadia. Again, keeping up the pressure on Brea Linda. As we can see here, just dragging him down, keeping him back and pushing Brea Linda even further back. Number five coming in, Ethan Long coming in like Aaron Donald. Ethan Five. Long coming in like Aaron Donald getting that sack, pushing him all the way third and 25. Bray Lynn is going to need a prayer right here. Let's see if they get it. Kick it out. This might be it. Actually gets past the 45 strong hit right there at the end. Helmet comes flying off Michael Reed. Bray Lynn, a big gain right there. Let's see if they go for it. They should. Michael Reed going to need to be checked out. That helmet came flying off of him at the end. We'll see it right here. Strong hit right there, meeting him with the crown of his helmet. The helmet comes flying off. They're going to check on him. Yeah. Linda on the 43 yard line with four and six. Ray Linda needing this one. This is going to be a big play to determine this tide of this game. 2.50 left on the clock. It is coming in close, really making my heart to heartbeat. And man, it has been a game. Ray Linda with a snap movement coming up. Two guys in movement. Jump right there by Arcadia. Let's see how they move it. Let's see who it is against. Call is against Arcadia, so that's going to give him first down. Or fourth and sixth, just one yard short. It's going to be the longest yard imaginable for Bray Olinda. All those players, 
cards depend on this one. Trying to get the win, trying to improve their season to 3-0 and at the start in non-league play. Brelinda hands it off. Oh, fakes the handoff, makes the catch right there. That's the first down. Dodging two defenders, getting on the side. He's outspeeding them, and he's going to get the touchdown right there. Brea Linda up by six. Upsetting touchdown for Arcadia here, unfortunately. There seems to be some commotion here, but seems to be a touchdown. Let's see, there's a lot of discussion currently. Right here, he sees he gets misses two men right there. Third one comes in. See, right there, he steps out. Right, right there. Steps out. So it's not going to be a touchdown just yet. Don't set the, the poppers off, Braille into fans. Let's see if they're able to make it here. Braille Linda at the 10 yard line now. Second and seven coming up. So a big, big help to Arcadia, giving them another chance to stop this drive. We're going to see a rushing play here by the quarterback, but again, that center holding strong. But will it be enough to keep the? Will it be enough to keep Braille Linda out? Three and three. Watching this again, we can see it already tackled twice. Finally, bringing him down with two other people. This could be the defining touchdown for our game. Arcadia holding up a strong front so far, but unfortunately it may not be enough to keep them, may not be enough to keep Brayalinda from scoring. So third and four, Brayalinda in a nice position for a field goal if they have to go for it. Throw is up, he does not pull it in. He does not pull the ball in right there. Number 80, number 80 was not able to pull that one in. Ball getting started. Let's see. Seems like some players are coming on. Might be, they might be going for the field goal. Quarterback leaves as well. We're going to see a field goal. This is going to be a big one. Arcadia. Arcadia's fans got to close their eyes during this one. Hope. Hope that this ball does not go up between the uprights. Thinking about calling a timeout. So far, it looks like they haven't. Special teams out on the field. This is the biggest moment so far of this game. Brayalinda looking. Timeout gets called first. Brayalinda wants to think this one over. Fourth and four. The stress is killing me. I can feel for Arcadia right now. My stomach dropped when that timeout came out because now, now they have to sit here and just bleed out. Having to sit here and have to watch as they might might not be able to protect it here if Braille Linda goes for that uh, field goal. But if they're able to block it, as we've seen so far, it could it could be could be the end. It could go into overtime or Arcadia could make a last minute score, but it's not looking too good for the Apaches. Very unfortunate. So this is the play of the game coming up right now. Arcadia once up by almost by almost 20 points. Has now Given up the lead, 33-33. Brea Linda just kept fighting. Wildcats really close to this one. One minute, 21 left. So after this, after the kick, Arcadia most likely getting the ball with 115. Just question whether they're going to start right here. Kicker gets ready, number 55. Kick is up. Air horns go off, and that kick is through. Through the uprights, Brea Linda takes the lead. Ethan Jones, the kicker, a senior for Brea, Brea Linda, able to get the field goal, 36-33. Ethan Jones coming in as the star player currently for Brea Linda. See right up the uprights, a little high. He had a lot of power in that kick. Could have kicked that one through the uprights from the moon, it seems like. It was just over one minute left to make a final play here. 
118, Sonny. It's going to be a big, big time. We'll see. I think the Apaches have been able to pull out some miracles, and hopefully we can have one here. Definitely going to need it. We've seen some quick scoring by the Apaches. You see, you just need to get into that 20-yard range to try to tie it with a field goal, but hoping. Whistles are blown, here comes the kick. 118 left on the clock, kick is up. It's a pretty good one. Apaches have received it, trying to find something. He gets some yards right there. Stiff arms, another guy. Gets the sideline at the 40 yard line, it seems like. Might be the 45 is when he went out. Had a stiff arm like Derrick Henry right there. Truck that guy. Michael Reed coming in clutch once again. Two touchdowns already on the day. Let's see right there. Michael makes a catch. Goes up the field. Up the field. Keeps going. Stiff arm. Missed it a little bit right there, but able to get taken down. Now at the 40-yard line. Acadia has a chance here. 109. It's a blessing also that the ball went out of the end zone, saving some clock time for Arcadia. Pressure coming in from both sides. Arcadia goes deep. They make the catch at the 35 yard line. Now, believe it, Aaron. Arcadia can pull this back. Already over halfway through the field. Less than a minute. Less than 16 seconds into their hard possession. And they're already close. Already down to the 35 yard line. Close to the 35-yard line here. 34-yard line, my apologies, with a first down. Running the clock here with less than a minute going in the fourth quarter. Arcadia's got to make some quick plays here. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, it's a big thing, Sonny. The clock continues to go as that pass was made. So clock time is leaving quickly. Arcadia only has a short amount. Trying to get into that 20-yard line at least for a field goal attempt. Getting pressure on the quarterback. He gets space, airs it out. And he catches it! Caught right there, short of the five yard line. Short of the five yard line, caught. Arcadia in the scoring position. Arcadia in scoring position. See right here, nice pass made down the line. Clock continues to run, timeout called. with less than 30 seconds to make a quick play here. Hopefully able to push it through and get that touchdown that they need to just win the game here. That ball on the eight yard line. Arcadia getting ultra, ultra, ultra close to this one. Crowd is going crazy. You can feel the stands vibrating here. Don't believe it, Aaron. Timeout by Brea Linda. Back to back timeouts. Fans not liking it. They want to see the action right now. Coming from that disappointing touchdown earlier here, it's, it's too much. Lost for words, Sonny. It's been so much you've seen here. First game, Arcadia has a real chance to win this one. Just so much happening, so close, yet so far here. We gotta see what the Apaches have in store here while Braille Linda plots to see how they can stop this. Stop this clutch. Let's see if Arcadia can pull it through. So let's go a quick run through. Arcadia has the ball on the six yard line, 26.7 seconds to go. 
They're in range for the field goal if needed. Here comes the play, running it out to the side, trying to find someone, nobody's there. They're gonna get a few yards. Gets out of bounds, clock will stay put at 20.4, Arcadia, real chance right there. Third and goal. Ball is on what seems to be the five yard line, third and five, third and goal, really. It's been a crazy game. Arcadia, their hopes land on this one play right here. Arcadia throws it up. There's nobody there to block them. Arcadia gets the touchdown. Touchdown, Arcadia. That puts them up currently. That puts Arcadia up currently. They will be a massive play, Arcadia 39, Brea Linda 36. Arcadia looking like they will come away with this one. 15.2 seconds left, Brea Linda will have a kickoff. With that pass, we can see no one defending number three here. Just having that open goal with their two defenders. Just blocking that man, unable to stop him. Number 20 coming in, trying to stop him, but just can't. Yeah, make it in time. Unfortunate, here with the extra point attempt. Arcadia's got it. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Arcadia. of a game here. Can you match Barrel Linda's average scoring or just over one just by just over by one point with a 38 with a 39. Barrel Linda averaging a 38 but unfortunately only had a 36 today. Being forced on the kickoff here as we can see the extra point attempt going. And even this out, just have that nice solid 40 to end off the game. All Arcadia would need to do after this is just offer time. And it's good. Arcadia, 40. Rayo Linda, 36. With 15 seconds left on the clock. 15 seconds. Those might be long ones, but Arcadia starting to get a party celebrated for tonight. What an amazing game we have seen here. Just action constantly tonight. 40-36. 40-36. Bray Olinda needs the touchdown. They need to get the touchdown. Let's see how far they're able to get on this kickoff. They might have one, maybe two plays after the kickoff. Well, they're in here. As I was saying earlier, Bray Olinda is not that good at making these miracle plays as good as Arcadia. But maybe they might be able to pull one out here. Maybe not. It may be Arcadia's first let's win. Arcadia, this could be it. So here comes the kickoff. It's been a crazy one right now. Still trying to get my energy back. Kick is up. It's going to be a far one. Nobody is there. That ball is just going to keep going. 
They're going to have to take it somewhere, trying to find anything. Taken down all the way over there, and that, that is most likely game point right there. 9.5 seconds left. Ray Olinda just not able to get anything on that kickoff. You have, at best, two plays. 9.5 seconds. Attack with beautiful pressure by Arcadia. I'm glad to see that they're able to bring it back towards the end. When it mattered most. And this could be it. That tackle right there could just be could just be game. Timeout on Arcadia. What an amazing game we have seen here, Sonny. It's been an amazing, amazing night for Arcadia. Thrills, we've had, we've had our thrills, our ups and downs. It's just the, the whole variety here. And this is what you love about high school football is you never know what you're going to get. It's going to need a Hail Mary right here, Brea Linda. You know, you can get maybe a quick short pass, try to get to the 30-yard line, get out of the ends, get out in the sideline. Then you have a Hail Mary. But really, Brea Linda looks like this is going to be close to the end for them. 9.5 seconds left for the Wildcats. I'd see another call, a uh, timeout here called by Brea Linda or not. See if they can try to try to get into it. Ball in the 13-yard line. 9.5 seconds left. Brea Linda snaps it. They're going to go for a pass, trying to find anything sacked right there. That is the end of the game. Number 44 coming in clutch with the big sack right there. There, you hear the horn, that's going to be the end of the game. Jonathan Long coming in clutch with that sack. Arcadia is going to come away with a big, big win right here today. Te tearing down Brea Linder's two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You love to see the Apaches putting on that pressure, especially against such a formidable opponent. This game has been beautiful. Okay, we're going to give a little break. We're going to make sure to keep watching. We're going to have an interview coming up right now.
number three. So Dion, how would you describe your performance here today? My performance was good today, but without my line and my team, this wouldn't be happening right now. Beautiful, beautiful statement. How are you feeling throughout the game? I feel good right now. I think we could have did a little better, but overall, it's all right. Dion, how do you think this game, this win's gonna feel going into the rest of the season? I think it's gonna feel good. I think this win is gonna make us go to playoffs right now. Thank you, Dion. Thank you for everything. Thank you for that wonderful place. That Thank is. You. Oh, you wanna go say? That has been Arcadia versus Bray Linda, 40 to 36. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in, and we'd like to let you know, next Thursday, Thursday night football, we are going to have a football game here again, so make sure to tune in on Thursday for the game. I'm Sonny. And I'm Aaron. Thank you all for tuning in, and good night.